How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome back to another review on the channel. Don't worry, it's not a review of that sh celebration uh, that is right below me. It's going to be a review uh, on level 15. You had the choice of Sergeant, you had the choice of Maiden, and you had the choice of Force B. And I did go for Force B, boys. I did go for Force B. It looks like a great card in this game. Um, very well rounded, some great physical, some sensational uh, defending. Dribbling is on point as well with 90 composure. Good shooting, kind of. Uh, shop ROP, good pace on him, good passing on him. So I want to see what he's like. By the way, he's he's got no traits. That, that's, that, that tab shouldn't even be there for this card. It's, it's just empty. But lads, he's got high, high work rates. He's a giant in game. I've actually played against this card, but I haven't played with this card. And that's what we're going to do today. So if you do enjoy, you know what to do. Bring that like, smash that like, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around here. Make sure you click that notification bell as well to be notified of every single review or content that we do put out on the channel. He's got two star skill moves. I'm not going to skill them. I don't think anyone was going to do that. We're kind of a CDM slash box to box player. And uh, he's got three star weak foot as well. But lads, let's stick with our team. Let's get into the review. So just like that, lads, a little bit of magic. Uh, I literally already had a squad built, but he's in the squad. I've literally played zero games with uh, Morton Force B. Of course, he's not weak. He's got some great links. And one of them is that link into Harlands. Uh, so in terms of the player, high to high work rate, he's gonna be box to box, he's gonna be up, he's gonna be down. He's gonna cover the whole pitch, six for two. He is a giant in game, like I said, I have played against him, and he was very, very good. Two star skill moves, I'm not really gonna skill the card. Three star weak parts, right foot primarily. And you look at his, his stats. I've stuck an engine on him, kinda out of habit, but defensively, he does need a boost. Uh, physicals, he does not need a boost. So uh, again, it's kinda out of habit to put like, uh, an engine on him to boost the pace up just a little bit the passing up a little bit as well and of course the dribbling up massively so in terms of the SLR 81 going on 86 the sprint speed is 84 going on 89 the shooting he's got good attacking positioning but the work rates will diminish that because he's going to be all around the pitch uh, 90 attacking position he's got 72 finishing 81 shot power 72 long shots so in the finishing kind of category, I don't expect him to score goals. I want to be sword in that midfielder, and I want him to be a very, very good midfielder for myself. Passing, short pass 88, long pass 85, with vision of 88, crossing of 78, and curve only 64, so that will affect the passing. In terms of dribbling, 85, going on 90, <laughs> in terms of agility, of course. Uh, balance, 87, going on 97, he's got reactions, 93, going on 98, with the ball control, going on 84, going on 89, with the dribbling, 82, going on 92, of course, with the engine camp style attached. Uh, he's got 90 composure, I'm very impressed with that. So in terms of his sights, it's six foot two. He's also got 93 jumping and 99 head accuracy. I'm surprised he doesn't have power head of trip because in the box from a corner, this guy would be an absolute unit. He's got 88 interceptions, he's got 81 defensive awareness, 89 stand tackle with 78, slide tackle, 88 aggression, 83 strength, uh, 99 stamina. That could be huge for the card, as it is with every uh, kind of high to high player on this game in general with their work rate. So engine looks good on the card. Now, with the team that we've laid out, it's got links in there, like you can link him to store, it's just, what they call them, storylines. Storyline, you can link him into uh, Tomiyasu, this card's a storyline as well. So you've got link right there, just right off the bat. Of course, Norwegian links in the Harlands, you've got Icon links, and you've got Italian Serie A links as well. I don't believe anyone from Sampdoria has got a good card in this game, so again, that could be a slight issue with the card if you're looking to link him into a strong link. And in terms of custom tactics, with the team I've got laid out, I've got to play uh, a 4 one 2 one 2 So this is going to be the formation of the uh, the, ta the tactics that you do see on screen is the tactics we're going to rock. Uh, 4 one 2 one 2 you can see it below me. Sancho, Matias, Forsby, a right centre midfielder because he is right-footed. And Tonali at CDM. And the instructions on Forsby, none. Literally none. Uh, he can cover wing if he wants to. If had a ball gets forwards, he can cover back and filter on in that position. It's going to be very interesting with the high, high work rates, what he does do in that sense. I've got all that set out. I've got everything set out. So for me, all I need to do now is play games because as you can see, zero games played. But let's see what Morton Forsby is like in game and let's see if he's worth the unlock over the other two who I've already forgot. Forsby was my choice in the Forsby from Holland. They look quite similar in game, don't they? Similar height, similar hair, similar shots. Ooh. Not bad. Had a boy. Back in the four speed. Goes for the one-two. Gets the one-two. How's his passing? Oh, that's not bad. Oh, 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 no chance. 
So that that ball roll was nice. Another ball roll inside. Oh, it's nice. Four speed. Not quite, boys. Not quite. Nelly, but no cigar. Forsby rinsed it out. Well played, man. Outside the, of the boot pass as well. The Sancho. A little through ball. I mean, that was lovely. That was delicate. That's a goal. Not bad. Not bad whatsoever, man. All right, Forsby, what you got, bro? A little drag back in his locker. Uh, he's not as fast or as agile as he stats say. There's no doubt about it. I've tried it with the drag backs. Tried it with running. He's not this. His stats are basically lying to me right now. Like, they are basically lying to me right now. We'll concede this. Oh no, today is a bad day. Force beat! Oh, good save, Allison. Very good save, Allison. Nice. Actually, this is this could work. To the corner. Force beat's in there with blue boots, boys. I think that's him at near. Oh, someone went past him. It was supposed to be as well. Oh, great save, Allison again. Stop that. Good footwork. Should score first time. But he scored the second time. It's all that matters. Jump in the crowd or something. Uh, just run around like an aeroplane. I don't know what's going on. But Forsby gets a goal. His first goal for the club. Forsby's in there. Forsby gets the seconds. Let's go, man. I'm wagging the finger because this is my last weekend league game. And I need a W for the next rank, boys. Nice positioning by Forsby in the box. And Forsby makes it 2 2. Let's go, boys. He's tall. He's very tall. Extra time, boys. Forsby arriving late in the area. With a stupid header because he's six foot two, he's, he's, he's tall. Uh, but that's that could be huge. He equalised from against me, uh, my opponent. Uh, he went ahead and stuff like that. This is extra time. Still going strong. So there we have the lads for another review on the channel. Now this, in terms of a storyline card, didn't do too bad. But I've got to say, at this stage in FIFA. He didn't do too good either. Now, he did score three and three. That was him in the last game where he did score a hat-trick, of course. And he did get one assist. However, he's not going to be known for his finishing on this game. He's going to be known for his hard attitude in defending, the box-to-box -box abilities of this card, and um, the lankiness of the card. And what I mean by lankiness is the frame. He's six foot two, a skinny frame, and he's a gentle giant. He does put the foot in, but... On the dribble, he exits the dribble very, very slowly. I would have had evidence in the gameplay. You would have seen the evidence in the gameplay from the drag backs to uh, the moments of his uh, acceleration. So out of the dribble, it's really slow to accelerate to get to the ball, which I can't understand. He's got 81 acceleration going on 86 with the camps down sash and 84 sprint speed going on 85 with 85 agility going on 90. Lies, 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 lies. In game, I don't see it. I really don't see it. Um, if you're expecting like a Vieira type caliber player out of this, your, your expectations are going to be let down. They will be let down because you're not going to get a Vieira type player out of this. It's simple as that. You're going to get like a comparable player, but to have someone on their level from a force beam, it's not going to happen, boys. Uh, maybe the, the same in terms of height, but uh, yeah, in abilities. It's just not there. Unfortunately for a free card as well, because it's a grindable card, and it's an easily grindable be uh, grindable card, because, lads, this is effectively free, and you get it just by playing the game over time, which I've stumbled across this. I didn't even aim to do this for speed. I've done it naturally. Got him naturally. I didn't rush it. I didn't do anything like that. And we did get the force speed. I'm a regret my decision. No, because it'll be useful for all the SPCs, and not league SPCs, uh, league objectives, so it'll be useful in the Serie A, but... Honestly, for this stage in FIFA, probably could be a little bit better. So the overall rating for this card will be an 8.6. In terms of the pros and cons, uh, I mean, you've got the power. Mainly his strength slash aggression. Makes him very powerful and also imposing. So does his height. Makes him very imposing in game. His passing was incredible at times. It was really, really good. From 88 short pass to 85 long pass, he just didn't generate those uh, curves sometimes. But uh, he can definitely play a pass in this game. And the stamina. High to high work rates. Need good stamina. He's all about the pitch. And uh, by the way, that'll be another key pro today. I just couldn't fit it on the pros list. Uh, his movements. Just keep an eye out for that. Uh, stamina, 99. 
absolutely incredible. His tackling is well assured, especially his stand tackle. He's got the aggression to win it. He's got 89 stand tackle, 88 interceptions, and uh, he's, he's got the power as well, 83 strength. And of course, the heights to be very, very important. In terms of the heights, I've just literally spoke about it, but he's tall, he can win headers, he's got header for me. Uh, he's good in the air, he's very good in the air, so goal kicks and stuff like that, defending corners, you'll win them in the air and you'll do it definitely uh, a, a good job in that, a good job in that. And if you find him in the opposition's box and he actually manages to win a header, he's got 19, 99 hitting accuracy. So uh, again, that poses a problem for your opposition. Uh, what poses a problem for you is, is turning slow, it affects the cards. And I mean turn slow out of the exit and the dribble, and so... Uh, when he turns slow, X in the dribble, this is what he does. He, he does a drag back and then he pushes the ball and then he's got to catch up to the ball. He doesn't catch up to the ball fast enough, which again, you would have seen evidence in the gameplay. Um, I don't get it. I, it's not 85 agility. Simply not. Uh, like, especially, he's definitely not 90 agility with the engine. Uh, he doesn't feel that in the slightest. Maybe it's his frame, maybe it's his 6 foot 2 height that he's got, but no, he's nowhere near that. Uh, uh, agility speeds and nowhere near the acceleration and sprint speed speed uh, that needs to be said and if I was uh, just reviewing off his stats I would have said it was absolutely fantastic but I've used them in game and those are my experience with the card and uh, finishing as well if you use them as a box to box centre midfielder which I would recommend you do or a DM but again for DM high to high work rates can kind of mess that up um, if you use them as a box to box just watch out for his finishing it isn't always good uh, the goals that he scored for me today were own goals uh, own goals, open goals, where he did have like the opportunity to tap into an empty net in the majority of the time. Other than that, bang, goalkeeper every single time. Uh, he's just taking shots off the keeper. So in terms of overall, it will be the 8.6 and value for time, 10. 10, 10, 10. Uh, like I said, I stumbled across this card. It's a 10, strict 10 from me. Enjoyment, 8.0. I didn't get too much enjoyment out of this game, but it's very different to have someone in your team that's this tall, this lanky, and a, a frame unlike any other players in the game generally. Uh, it, it's, it's very, very strange. But he would be a starter for me. After everything I've said, he would be a starter because as a sub player, he wouldn't make an impact. He would not make an impact from the bench. So that is why he wouldn't be a sub player. And why I would not use him is because he's still a usable card. He's still a usable card. He's just. He's not that good compared to everybody else in the game. Uh, games played, he played three, he scored three, he assisted the one, and he got a 7.6, 8.0, and 9.4 where he did get a hat trick. In terms of traits, nothing, nothing, and more of nothing. It's got zero traits, boys, zero traits whatsoever. Over 100k, I I'd rank 84, yes, 84 Tonali, SBC, from the Serie A, same league that he's in. Higher than this card. I uh, would. That's an alley. It just offers you a little bit more. And so, headliner Delaney would come underneath this card. So, again, he is comparable to those players. Under 100k, I'd say Inform De Jong is better than, than Forsby. Uh, that is much I'll say about that. Uh, passing 8 out of 10, the same can be said about physical. And uh, the shooting would be a 6, with the dribbling being a 7. It's got 2 star skills, 3 star weak foot, high to high work rate, 6 foot 2 in terms of height, which benefits him. And it goes against him at the same time. And he is right foot primarily. The key pro will be the movement because with the high high work rate, he's up, he's down, he's literally covering so much ground. And you would have seen that in his attack and positioning. Once I did get into the attack, he was floating in the box. And defensively, he was getting back and helping the defense out as well. And the key con will be his slow turning. He just turns slow. And I know what you're going to say. If you've come, you've looked at this, and you haven't bothered like listening to my reasoning, you're going to comment it. I know what you guys are like. You're going to comment in the comment section below saying, lads, how can he turn so he's got 85 jolly, this, that, and the other? Lads, I've literally just explained. So please, please watch and listen to the video. Uh, in terms of best camp style, probably B engine. Takes me to a 97 midfield, 90 CDM, an 89 right midfielder, right wing back, and a cam. And lads, it's going to be a wrap for today's review. Tonight, a released Ashley Young. Not going to do that review. It's too expensive for a not good card. It is a good card, but I wouldn't say it's an amazing card. So I'm going to like skip that review. I'm not going to like say... I'm going to scale a play. I'm not going to do it on my account because over the course of the year, they'll be more expensive and more kind of valuable players to me and to you than Ashley Young. Simply said about Muriel yesterday. But lads, if you have enjoyed the review, you know what to do. Bring that like, smash that like, and um, subscribe to the channel if you're brand new around here. Click the notification bell as well. Remember, wash your hands, stay safe, stay indoors, and uh, let this all just blow over with a pint in the house. But lads, hope you're safe. Hope you're well. And as always, I will catch you all next time.